hey hi hello everyone how are you doing okay so let's come to the part 3 of mcq on electromagnetism at the end of this session the learner will be able to apply the concept of electromagnetism to solve mcq earlier i have uploaded the part 2 and part 1 so you please watch this part 2 and part 1 for a better clarification so let's come to the next mcq uh, when the speed of the conductor at which uh, when the speed at which the conductor moved through the magnetic field is increased what will happen to the induced voltage so induce the voltage uh, dynamically induced the uh, emf is given by b l v sin theta v is the velocity so if you increase the velocity that is the speed of the conductor moving inside the magnetic field emf is also get increased the direction of magnetic field within the magnet so if you see here this is the magnet which is electromagnet this is created direction of magnetic field within the magnet within the magnet means inside so inside if you observe that the, the, the flux is moving from south to north flux is moving from south to north and outside it is moving from north to south so here it is outside field around the magnet around the magnet it is moving from north to south okay so this completes the path inside inside the core it is s to n and outside the core it is n to s okay so then induce the voltage across the stationary conductor and stationary magnetic field conductor is also stationary magnetic field is also stationary that is rate of change of flux is zero and emf is equal to emf is proportional to rate of change of flux but d phi by dt as both are stationary it is equal to zero hence emf induced is also equal to zero let's discuss next question the direction of magnetic field proportion produced by the current carrying conductor is given by so suppose there is a current carrying conductor i want to find the direction of magnetic field the direction of magnetic field is given by the right hand rule okay so rather it can say the right hand thumb rule not only this it is a right hand thumb rule okay so right hand thumb rule uh, unit of flux is always weber uh, so you can answer also this opposition to the magnetic lines of force so opposition to the current is the resistance but opposition to the flux is always what reluctance in magnetic circuit there is a reluctance opposition to the flux so it is a reluctance magnetomotive force is directly proportional to so mmf is equal to ni so it is proportional to number of turns it is also proportional to current so number of turns and current so option a and b is the correct answer okay so let's discuss the next questions the permeability of the material is the ratio of the permeability is the ratio of b divided by h so in a particular material it is a b divided by h so if you plot that graph it is come as a hysteresis that is this just like this so it is a hysteresis type of curve so b and h is related by b is equal to mu h so mu is equal to b upon h so it is a b upon h so match the pairs so current is relevant in magnetic circuit to the flux Voltage is relevant to the MMF, resistance is relevant to the reluctance and conductance is relevant to the permeance. So, you must be able to match the pairs. The reluctance of the magnetic material, so reluctance of the magnetic material increases with increasing in the cross-sectional area? No, because S and A are inversely proportional. It uh, does not vary, no, it is varies with the reluctance, but decreases as increasing in the cross-section area. Cross-section area increases, reluctance decreases. So, this is the correct option. Two current carrying conductor lying in the magnet, uh, lying parallel to close to each other and each are carrying the opposite current, each are carrying the opposite current. See here, there's two conductors, one is carrying the current in this direction, another is carrying the current in this direction. So here you will observe that inside this, here you will observe that uh, the flux is additive. So here this flux and this flux in this area is get added, whereas outside there is a low flux area. So inside there is a high flux area and outside that is low flux area. Outside there is a low flux area. So flux and it is a tendency of the uh, conducting material uh, or it is a tendency of any magnetic material. It is um, move from high flux area to low flux area since the both conductor will ripple, ripple, ripple each other. So it is the force is the repulsive. But when the current conductor current is in same direction here the flux of this is in this direction here the flux is in this direction so what will happen uh, what will happen the both flux will be get cancelled so and within inside this there is a low flux area and outside this is a high flux area so high flux area is on this side 
so the current uh, the conductor will attract each other so in this case uh, both are carrying the current in opposite direction so force is a repulsive one match the pairs fleming's left hand rule fleming's left hand rule is used to find the direction of force fleming's right hand rule is used to find the direction of induced emf right hand thumb rule is used to find out the direction of flux and faraday's uh, law sorry 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 uh, let me correct let me correct uh, so i i made a small mistake so, so let me correct mm, okay so uh, fleming's left hand rule is used to find out the force fleming's right hand rule is used to find out the direction of induced emf right hand thumb rule is used to find out the direction but faraday's laws gives the emf induction faraday's law gives the emf induction the relative permeability is the defined as the ratio of relative permeability is the ratio of b divided by b0 that is flux density in a medium to the flux density of the vacuum keeping h constant so it is b divided by b0 so b is also measured in tesla tesla so its quantity is unitless so this is the correct option the strength of magnetic field around the conductor is directly proportional to we know that h is equal to ni by l so h is proportional to the current so current in the conductor it is proportional one weber one weber is equal to 10 raised to 8 lines of forces 10 raised to 8 lines of forces according to uh, faraday's law of electromagnetic induction emf induced e, emf is induced only when there is a cut in the magnetic flux that is d phi by dt when there is only cut in the magnetic flux next the emf induced in a coil due to its own current due to its own current or own flux is called as a self induced emf but when the flux induced emf induced in the coil is due to the neighboring coil then it is called as a mutual inductors mutual induction so if this is a coil this is the carrying the current i with this is a source so emf induced here is equal to minus l di by dt so it is a self induced emf but when you place the another coil near to each near to him so emf induced here e2 is due to this flux so it is a mutual one so uh, emf induced due to the neighboring coil it is a mutual due to the self coil or self current it is called as the self induced emf so n phi by i n phi by i is nothing but the inductance or n square upon s or mu zero mu r a n square upon l it is called as inductance so it is a self inductance electromagnetic induction occurs in a coil when there is a change in okay so where is there in change in magnetic field again this question is uh, asked in two three ways differently so a e is proportional to d phi by dt e is proportional to d phi by dt let's come to the next which is the correct one okay so see l is equal to n square upon s so s is equal to n square by l this is correct s is equal to n phi by i s is because it is mmf upon flux and in mutual m is equal to n1 divided by n1 n2 divided by s so if you take the s here and m here so it is n1 n2 divided by m so this is also correct so all options are correct in this case the mutual inductance between the two uh, magnetically coupled coils depends on permeability number of turns and the cross sectional area so mutual inductance is given by n1 n2 upon s but what is the s value so s value is divided l it is mu 0 mu r into a so it is depending upon permeability yes it is depending upon the number of turns it is also depend on the cross sectional area so all of the option all of the above option is correct the two inductance l1 and l2 are connected in series cumulatively so if it is connected in cumulatively between the terminal a what is the net inductance so cumulatively means they are inducing the emf in the same direction so this is a dot polarity so emf is induced in the same direction so l equivalent will be l1 l2 plus twice mm twice m but when two coils are connected such that their emf induced is in this direction emf induced is, that is emfs are in opposition that is they are in differential manner and this is the mutual one at that time l equivalent is equal to l1 plus l2 minus twice m so please remember this concept so in this it is in cumulative polarity so it is plus 2 m okay how to cal in uh, two coils l1 and l2 are placed close to each other such that magnetic flux in a one coil completely link with another coil what is the mutual inductance so k is the coefficient coefficient of coupling coefficient of coupling is equal to m divided by under root l1 l2 as they are completely linked this k is equal to 1 that is m is equal to under root l1 l2 so this is the correct option 
if two coils are loosely coupled okay so k so k is equal to coefficient of coupling so if they are loosely coupled the value of this m is greater than the value uh, value of m is very small than the under root l1 l2 so the k is get reduced so k value is less than 1 and k never go beyond 1 k is equal to 1 for tightly coupled okay so for tightly coupled and this for loosely coupled okay so loosely coupled so this is less than 1 okay so with this we are at the end of uh, mcq discussions on the electromagnetism in the next video i am going to upload the short question and answer that is a short numerical questions based on the electromagnetism thank you